Respiratory illness is the number one killer of children in the developing world. There's two million deaths from pneumonia every year of children in Africa. So the problem is huge. With proper oxygen treatment, it's estimated that 25% of the deaths are avoidable. And 80% of children in Africa who need oxygen are not getting it. Here in Malawi, we see children with all kinds of life-threatening conditions, including things like measles, malaria, meningitis, tuberculosis, uh, pneumonia. And by the time they reach the hospital, they're already in critical condition. They need help immediately. And in a lot of these hospitals in Malawi, they don't have oxygen to give the child, or they don't have the appropriate antibiotics. And so we think this is unacceptable from a humanitarian standpoint. And we're on a mission to change this, and I think we can. This child needs a concentrator, but there's this other critical, critically ill uh, kid who again needs a concentrator. So when I saw there's some improvement, I had to transfer the concentrator to this critically ill child. A situation where you don't have a concentrator, but the child needs a concentrator. It's, it's bad. Many times that there, there are oxygen concentrators in these hospitals, but there's inevitably too few. And so the nurses and clinicians are put in a position where they have to choose who's gonna receive the oxygen and who is not. And besides being morally impossible choice that, that puts great stress on the people, many lives are lost. World Altering Medicine is a nonprofit organization that provides simple, life-saving interventions to children and families in need in poorly resourced African hospitals. Breath of Life is a program we developed which provides oxygen to children and patients in hospitals who need it to breathe and to survive. Breath of Life can help kids like RJ. RJ is a Malawian boy who was seven months old when he became very sick with measles and pneumonia. He was in respiratory distress. By the time he got to the hospital, uh, he actually went into cardiopulmonary arrest and needed to be resuscitated. Uh, his life was literally saved by the use of oxygen concentrator donated by World Altering Medicine. To save the lives of these young ones, of which we are so grateful, we are really blessed to have this as a donation. It has really come in time. Breathing is maybe the most fundamental thing, that something that you never even think about. For so many of these children, the act of taking a breath is painful and very, very difficult. They need something so simple that we take it for granted. It's impossible to think of a, of a hospital without oxygen, but that is actually what goes on there. We founded World Altering Medicine because we realized simple interventions could make a huge impact. For a very small amount of money, you can pay for a child's hospitalization. It struck me while seeing patients in the clinic in Africa that a dollar a day could pay for their hospitalization. And here I was with enough money in my pocket to be able to pay for that hospitalization for a child or even two to three children and save their lives. There's not many things you can do in this world that can make a big impact for so little money. I think people really want to donate money to help children in Africa, but they're not sure how their donation will be used. That's not the case with World Altering Medicine. We'll use your donation to do concrete things that help children in Africa, such as buy an oxygen concentrator that will be used in these hospitals. Uh, we use your donation to buy antibiotics or anti-seizure medications that will be used. Uh, your donation could pay for hospital stays for children or transportation to the clinic or to the hospital. It can be used to pay for the salary of a clinical officer or a nurse. Really, the possibilities are limitless with your donation. Join us in our fight to help kids just like RJ, and you too can make a difference and save a life.